Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another favorites video. I have not done a favorites video in forever. I think my last one was like in March. So, so let's go ahead and get into this favorites video. So let's start out with the foundation that I have been obsessed with. Actually, it's two foundations that I've been obsessed with. Both, both of them are drugstore foundations, so they're pretty affordable. The first one is the one that I'm actually wearing today. This is the Rimmel Lasting Finish 25 Hour Breathable Foundation. I really, really like this foundation and I just like the way that it feels on the skin. It's very, very comfortable on the skin. You're not going to get the fullest coverage from it. You get kind of like a medium coverage, but it is buildable. But I feel like if you just go in with like one layer and maybe an extra layer over like certain spots, you'll be good to go. And it's just super comfortable, especially in this heat. Another foundation that I've been loving loving is the LA Girl Pro Matte Foundation. Now you guys, I do have a review of, actually I have a review of on um, both of these, but I do have a review of on this foundation. I really, really like it. Again, it's kind of similar to the 25 hour wear. Now I haven't worn any of these foundations for 25 hours, but I do think that both of them do last a very long time and they're very, very comfortable on the skin. Now this one, unlike the Rimmel one, is a full coverage foundation and the coverage on this foundation is just simply amazing. Like it is just absolutely amazing and I was just so impressed from the moment I put this foundation on my skin the first time it is that amazing like it really really is I just love the coverage of it and it's a full coverage foundation but it's not super heavy and it's not uncomfortable on the skin and that's what I love about this foundation so I would highly recommend you guys try out this foundation the concealer that I have been obsessed with and I know you guys have I know you guys are probably like really kiwi really <laughs> um and a lot of you guys are obsessed with this concealer too because when I did my review on it, a lot of you guys was coming and saying that you were obsessed with it. This is the Makeup Revolution Conceal and the Fine Concealer. I absolutely love this concealer. I have mine in the shade C12. I feel like it's the perfect shade because it doesn't leave, you know, it doesn't leave my under eyes too bright, but it leaves it good enough to where it's covering and I don't have to go in and, you know, go in with another concealer to conceal and then go in with this one to highlight. I feel like this one highlights and conceals and does all of that good stuff on its own and I just really really like it the coverage is really really good and it's super easy to blend out and it lasts a very long time it doesn't crease and it's just a really really good concealer I absolutely like it oh guys okay so I'm actually impressed because I did not think that I was going to like this bronzer just because it claims to be deep and this is the deepest shade but I just felt like it wasn't gonna be deep enough for me but guys it is I'm wearing it today I feel like it gives you this well I just tell you guys what it is because I'm like rambling but this is the butter bronzer from physicians formula I love this and again I'm using my green screen so it might key out but the packaging is like this green like tropical print it's really really cute and I just really really like it now as you guys can see it looks super light in this pan right but once you swirl your brush around it gives you like a natural bronze like a bronze from within if that makes sense like a sun bronze like a sun tint like sun kiss yes that's what I'm looking for a sun kiss bronze that just gives you like that natural bronzy glowy look and I really really like it again I'm wearing it today it doesn't give you like that oh look I'm wearing bronzer or it doesn't have like that red undertone or like you know just how sometimes when you put on bronzer you can absolutely tell that you have on bronzer this isn't one of those ones this one is a, like a natural bronze that it looks like your skin is actually bronze in those areas that you put it in so I love this bronzer I highly recommend it again I have mine in the shade deep this is the darkest that it goes but I just wish they come out with deeper shades so everybody can try it because it's really that great I really, really love it and then speaking of physicians formula butter products I finally tried one of the butter blushes in a recent video and I really really like it I've actually have been only using this blush recently like every single time I've did 
worn makeup in the past what since few weeks since i've tried this i really have only been using this blush and that bronzer this is the butter blush in the shade vintage rouge and again i'm wearing it today i just really really like it because it's kind of like that peachy corally type color but it also has like a little hint of rose in it if that makes sense but it just looks so natural like a natural blush blush on the skin it has a little glow to it so i noticed that that part Products do give you like a lot of glow you know so I really really like it and it's just a really nice pretty subtle blush I tried out the new beauty boxes from Walmart if you guys haven't seen that video I'll link it in the cards above but in the glowy kit we had the Milani make it dewy guys most of the time I do not like dewy setting sprays just because a lot of them have oil in it and just make you feel like super oily and greasy and just a mess but this one right here is not like that oily spray that goes on your face it just looks so good on <laughs> and it makes you look so freaking glowy that I'm just obsessed with it like I've literally been wearing it so much <laughs> that I need to purchase the big one because I'm almost out of this little small sample size of it like I love this I've been wearing this so much within the past few weeks and it's just crazy and also on one of those beauty boxes I've tried out the Maybelline lasting drama waterproof gel eyeliner now this isn't new this has been around for years but I only tried it out for the first time in that video because it came in that box and guys this is such a black eyeliner that I was looking for an eyeliner this black and one that just stays in place and stays intact all day and that's this eyeliner I really, really like it the extra look that I'm going for it's a look <laughs> So yeah, I love this. And the mascara that I have been loving ever since I tried it out. This is the CoverGirl Peacock Flare Mascara. I love this mascara. And as I talked about in the video when I tried it out, the one of it is just so different. Like, I don't have any mascaras that are like this. And I just really, really like the way it makes my lashes look. And I feel like it's the, made, the way that the one is made, it's super easy to get all of your lashes. Like my go-to brow product lately has been the CoverGirl ultra fine brow pencil i've been really really liking this i've used mine in the shade i have mine in the shade rich brown is what i use on my brows today i really really been liking this because it's like one of those um natural looking brow products it doesn't make it look like you drew on your brows it just makes it look natural like a natural brow nothing bold and extra it does remind me a lot of the Anastasia Beverly Hills brow wiz but uh, for the price I think it was like $6.99 I have been obsessed with Shayla's collection you guys know I had to pick up her collection I picked up perception which is an eyeshadow palette it's just absolutely beautiful it does come with a mirror I have a full review up of this palette so I'm not going to go into too much detail Again is what I'm wearing on my eyes today But I wanted to talk about a few of the shadows out of this palette Because I've just been obsessed with it So Culture is one that I have dug into so much That's the one that I have all over my lid today I just really like Culture for a transition color Or just all over the lid if I'm going for a simple basic look like this But the one that I have been obsessed with <laughs> The absolutely one that I have been obsessed with is Unbothered. I love this shade. It's like that white. It's, it's like that white gold that's like the perfect highlight for your brow bone. Love it. Even if I don't even use this palette, I'll go into this palette just to get this shade out of here because I have been loving it. I have it in my inner tip and on my brow bone today and I just absolutely love it. Some skin care. So I have been obsessed with the Garnier Skin Active Smoothing Cleansing Milk guys this one is in the shade rose shade <laughs> this one is in rose water and it smells absolutely amazing and i don't even know if you guys can see that but like i'm literally almost out of this <laughs> i only have like it's right here <laughs> right there because i use this so freaking much but i don't like the spray you guys know i did get the spray that i got when i got this and i didn't like it because i think it broke me out anyway i've been using this and i really really like it. i use it as my morning moisturizer because it's just like a my face really feels clean it wakes me up it smells good and it just makes your skin smooth smooth and it just 
looks and feel good and your face feels clean in the morning so i really really like it last but not least i definitely had to talk about these nail polishes here you guys know i normally don't talk about nail polishes because i go get my nails done and i really just recently started going getting back into nail polish since this is summertime and I, a lot of times i get nail polish for my toes because y'all know i don't get my toes done um but i recently have been using it on my nails and i've just been obsessed with this particular polish this is the one step wet and wild one step wonder gel nail polish now in my video y'all probably remember that i picked up two by accident and i was kind of upset that i got the two and i was like i didn't even want to buy two but i'm so happy i did I, i'm so happy i did that i actually went in walmart and they were on clearance for two dollars and i bought like five more so <laughs> they're dead good because once you put this on you don't even need a top coat i mean you can put on the top coat to be on the safe side but you don't need a top coat because i didn't put a top coat on and this will literally last meaning it won't chip it won't peel you can wash dishes you can wash your tail you can you know wash your hands 50 million times and it won't chip like it won't chip it won't come off or anything and i kid you guys now i had mine on for a full week before it even chipped on the first nail a full week so i wonder how long this will last on your toes <laughs> The one that I'm wearing now is a sadly handsome one and it's already cheap and I literally haven't even had this on a week yet. So I like to have the extreme nails on my toes because those just, you know, they chip too much on my hands. But these do not chip at all. So I can't wait to take this off my hands and put this on there. Alright guys, so that is it. Those are all of my favorites from the month of May. Let me know you guys' favorites from the month of May. And yeah, I think that is about it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did be sure to give it a thumbs up don't forget to comment share subscribe and all of that good stuff and yeah hope you guys are having an amazing day thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you guys in my next video bye guys